So how to calculate of rate of interest on recurring deposit? That means in any sum or any problem when the rate of interest is not given. So except rate of interest, for example, principal amount and time and the maturity value and they'll give how to find out the rate of interest. So let me show you one question here. If you see, you get an idea. So Kumar opened a recurring deposit account in a bank and deposited rupees 800 per month. So 800 is the principal P for one, one by two years. So one and a half years. If he received 15,084 at the time of maturity. So maturity amount, maturity value is given. Find the rate of interest per annum. So simple interest also not given. We need to find out that also. Okay, let me take the given data first. Then you apply the simple interest formula and you solve this problem. So here, if you see this question. So here the given data is P is equals to. So that P is rupees 800 and N is equals to. N is the number of months. So N is always should be in months. 1, 1 by 2 years, 1 and a half years. 1 and a half years is 12 plus 6. So 18 months. 18 months. So this is the 1, 1 by 2 years. Okay. And total money deposited. Nothing but uh, every month amount is 800 into number of months is 18. 800 into 18 is the total money deposited. That is because you need to find out the simple interest also. So total money deposited is throughout this 18 months. So that is 800 every month into 18 months. Then that is the amount if you multiply you will get that is uh, 14,400. This amount is total deposited. And total money received is this one, maturity value. So 15,084 is the total money received. And that is also given. Then total money received. So receive total amount nothing but that is the uh, maturity value. Total amount to received is, is already given. Uh, 15,084 right by difference of this both is simple interest will get then simple interest is equals to total amount received is 15,084 minus and what is deposited is 14,400 this is the simple interest so simple interest is equals to by subtracting you will get only 684 so 684 is a simple interest now we will apply the simple interest formula we can find out the R value because we know the PN, right? Just to apply the simple interest formula. So simple interest is equals to P into N into N plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 by 12 into R by 100. Okay, this is the formula. So in this formula, just whatever the values you have, you can substitute. Then simple interest we got that is 684 and p value so 800 into n value is so 18 18 plus 1 is 19 divided by 2 into 1 by 12 into r by 100 because you need to find out the r value rate of interest that's it if you simplify this you'll get the rate of interest so it's simple then which is possible you can cancel in this sum and here 100 one so 108 sum Again, two ones are two four is eight. Again, four ones are four three is a twelve here. Three table is there. Three ones are three six. Just to cancel each and everything which is possible. Remaining right. Now six eighty four is equals to six into nineteen into r. Six into nineteen into r. Then from this rate of interest, so r is equals to that is six eighty four divided by six into nineteen. Right, that is um, 684, 6 into 19 is uh, 114. Just cancel this 114 ones are 114 6 are 684. You can cancel here also. Then R is equal to 6. So once you get R value, there is only the rate of interest. So therefore, hence, so rate of interest. is 6% per annum. So per annum only rate of interest you need to calculate. So whenever the problems are given, just find the simple interest value 
if you know you can find applying in the same formula will just substituting you get the other end so this is in uh, how to calculate the rate of interest on recurring deposit okay now we'll see how to calculate uh, monthly installment okay when we need required to find out the p value any sum how to calculate the monthly installment so let's see now 